Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Georgia where a sovereign citizen has decided that they are above the law and, well, pretty much uh, exempt from paying anybody any rent that's due. So the judge ends up, well, evicting them. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And then finally, I have The Heights at Dunwoody versus Brittany Berry. You're she's me. here. Well, she's she's refusing to identify herself, so unless she does that, oh. I'm not yeah. I haven't refused to identify myself. As I previously stated, I'm the authorized representative for that. Okay, state. is your name Brittany Berry? I'm the authorized representative for this okay. state. Yeah, I know how you soft hearts like to play this uh, little mind game that I am the authorized representative of that estate, blah, blah, blah. You know, the corporate versus the living self, where the corporate self pays the penalties for what the living self does. So they uh, attempt to not go to jail. Now, with that being said, you are allowed to go pro se in a court case. It's just that you can't be the so-called authorized representative of a uh, client without a law license to practice law, especially in Georgia. So if you uh, are not this person, then you are essentially committing a crime right here. I mean, it, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So just think about it. Are you the actual person and not the corporation? Because if you are the actual person, then you're the one who's supposed to be representing yourself in this case if you are going pro se. Otherwise, that uh, so-called authorized representative will be paying the penalties for those, well, crimes at, at this point. So make up your mind. All right, okay. Ms. Barry, we're going to be going forward on a, on a judgment on the pleadings in your case. Mr. Williams, if you'd like to go forward on that now, we can do that. Oh, sure, Judge. I'd be happy to. Um, I'm, I'll just move for judgment on the pleadings. Ask for a written seven days. Okay. Which would be, what is that, 22nd? Uh, that is going to be, yet yeah, March 22nd. I have an objection over it of discovery was to file. I understand. I saw that your motion, you're yeah. essentially stating that the laws of this state and the country do not apply to you. Um, that is not... Uh, that that motion has no merit and it is denied. It Total does not judgment. Say, it does not apply to me. Yep, that's fine. All right, Miss. Uh, well, whoever this I is, in reference to the Fourth Amendment and Fourteenth Amendment. Uh, everything that guy just said is bullshit. Thank you. A soft hard. The uh, Fourth Amendment grants you the right to be secure in your. Uh, personal papers and effects from unreasonable searches and seizures. Uh, but during court proceedings, uh, especially ones like this, I'm sure they can look into your documents, especially your rent, because that's what's at hand here. Since you have roughly about $3,000 in back rent from an apartment complex, which in this case is a privately run business and not the government. So they have access to those papers and they can give them to the uh, courts for an eviction, you dumbass. Then there's the matter of the 14th Amendment. I know, I know. You soft hearts like to pull that out of your ass and say that, oh, I'm not a 14th Amendment citizen. Oh, dude, shut up. If you were born in this country, then you're a citizen. If you were born in Russia, then you're a Russian citizen. If you were born in France, then you're a French citizen. If you were born in Saudi Arabia, then you were born... Uh, a Saudi citizen. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Jen Mr. Williams. Uh, yes, sir. Sure. Judge. The total amount due to the 22nd is $2,998.28 plus costs. Okay. And that's due from when? When was the last payment made? Our last payment was in January. I object for the record. Overruled. So January. What is the monthly payment? Uh, the monthly rent in this case. Objection for the record. 
Okay, you're 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 overruled. Yeah, it's twenty two forty per month. There's a portion due from February. Ms. Rodriguez, if you could please keep whoever this is muted. Oh, I love this judge. She understands how to deal with softards. The best way to deal with them is just to keep them quiet because none of their BS ever makes any sense whatsoever. So in other words, shut your dang mouth, you damn uh lead paint drinking moron. There's a portion that was paid in February and then March rents due. That's why there's only twelve thirty one twelve due. Okay. So there was a partial payment? Correct. And is, this is just includes For rent. Record, this is a denial of all right. Denial. This just includes includes rent and one late fee of ten percent. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So that was what the order will look like. Um is bear or whoever you are, I am going to remove you from the proceedings now. Oh, you sad, pathetic, uh, paint-drinking, sovtard moron. You didn't get your way. You thought you could uh, get around the law by interp interpreting the Constitution in uh, such a bizarre way? Well, it didn't exactly work out for you right here. So maybe next time you should try your scam on somebody who it might work on. Uh, but I'm sure most people know about your kind by now, and they don't exactly like dealing with non-rent-paying uh, sovtard dipsticks like you, so you might want to actually straighten your ass out and actually get a job that can pay that rent that you have to have every month. So, yeah, try that for once. <laughs> So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?